Sagittarius, hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for February 2024. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. Good. A sticky shuffle there. Don't blame the operator. Although I suck at shuffling. <laughs> so, <laughs> never changes. Right, but February 2024, Four of Wands for some reason has flipped over there. Stability, commitment around home and family life. But we'll get back to here, February 2024, clear messages from Spirit, please, for Sagittarius. Make this the last one. I've just come home from work. It gets dark here quickly. It's a dark room. Right, overall, Four of Wands reversed. Know how it flipped around before? Well, now it's reversed. Not feeling the stability and commitment happening around you. We will clarify everything shortly. Present energies, the lovers reversed, may have connection to a Gemini. It is crossed with this Princess of Pentacles. Soulmate Twin Flames, somebody significant here. I feel like you're, I have to say it, you're possibly expecting more to happen sooner than it should so maybe marriage proposal moving in together if it's an existing relationship maybe getting together with someone there is an offer being made here this may be a bit of a um, ultimatum as well when it does come to somebody significant but ultimately this is affecting this whole four of wands reversed overall for the month i'll clarify everything shortly Sagittarius, strength area, the moon, upright. Giving you some clarity when things are a bit darker and greyer. Wondering what the reason is for the hold up um, around the situation here. I'll say may have connection to Pisces. This moon is giving you the clarity to see very clearly why there is this hold up at the moment. Is all I'm going to say with that. Ace of Wands, focus area. May have been going through a bit of a rough patch, maybe waiting for an apology from someone, and this may never arrive, but it may also be that now's the time to open up the communication and to get things back on track with some sort of new focus, but I feel like it's still coming back to the two of you, whether again, existing relationship or somebody brand new. Recent past, Seven of Cups, missed opportunities, and possibly that's what's caused the bit of disruption here. We'll clarify and get that up right, hopefully, shortly. Incoming energies, though, love this. Sagittarius, King of Swords, taking action, using your head over your heart, thinking things through logically, and taking action, legally and morally, I say, but I feel like you may have had enough of this holdup, and ready to take action and get things moving. Maybe you then coming in with the offer. Two of Wands, what you need to know upright, knowing what you want, who you want, where you want to be, knowing that you've got to keep moving towards those goals and those dreams. It may be to get that stability to upright, to get that commitment on track here, but knowing you've got to keep moving towards those goals because others see you as getting there victory they see you as having it all and um, you know, they always say what happens behind closed doors but this is where others are looking in and I feel like they think that you do have it all happening in your in your favor the way you want when behind closed doors that may not be the case at the moment I'm saying not that it's going to be like that forever but at the moment because Ace of Swords reversed hopes and fears feeling like you're not able to clear some crap out from the past in order for a fresh new start to get underway. And it's because of this whole hold up of some sort. 
final outcome for cups. It is saying that you're quite stubborn, quite focused on one particular cup here, and it may be what's needing to be done to get things back on track here, but also that you can shift that focus around, see what else is on offer. Doesn't mean you have to take the offers, but they are worth looking at. There's never always the only one option. Wow, so a bit to clarify here, Sagittarius. I do feel like it is involving somebody in particular that for some reason there's been a bit of a halt to getting things moving. So, Four of Wands reversed. Judgment, Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. There's that Knight of Pentacles, Patience. Patience is a virtue, I'm not a patient person, but ultimately things may be moving at a snail's pace. And it's because of, I'm going to say, of some judgmental energy. Usually I say, don't judge others, don't let others judge you, keep an open mind. But I feel like there is some sort of judgmental energy coming in here towards somebody that you either are with or are wanting to be with that is causing a bit of a hold up to things getting off the ground here whether it's for a next chapter whether it's for a new chapter but ultimately you still have your focus and you're putting the work in to get the success you are wanting so present energies the lovers reversed the devil holy moly ace of wands knight of wands I am going to say it um, because I read it as I see them come out. This may be a toxic relationship. This is why that energy is reversed here. And it may also be that you're coming out of some sort of toxic relationship or energy that's been hanging around here. Maybe waiting for an apology or what you say may never arrive. It's been one hell of a roller coaster ride, but possibly trying to be able to sort that, I'm going to say, sort that shit out first before that lovers can get upright and things can get moving forward together more smoothly because there is some sort of very negative energy that seems to be butting in when it's not wanted. Princess of Pentacles, Sagittarius, Six of Cups, something from the past, Queen of Cups, Four of Pentacles. It is something or someone from the past here, and it's someone that you feel, to keep coming back to someone, um, that you feel like you're not able to let go of or release. This may be an ex where there's children involved, you're wanting to move forward with a new relationship, or an existing one, but to a new chapter, like you might be wanting to move to another town, and the ex is saying, oh, you're not taking the kids, etc. That kind of energy. You look back and you have come a long way emotionally, and I feel like there is this offer being made, um, and it may be an offer coming in of a reconciliation. And um, you're looking back thinking, well, is it something that you're really wanting to go back to? Is it something you're wanting to be free of in order to start some sort of new chapter? I do feel that it is with someone else than who you have, who you were with in the past. Wow, Sagittarius, strength area, the moon. Might be a give me strength, but look at this. Seven of wands, nine of swords, double dose of the moon. Boom, I'm a Pisces, and this may be connected to a Pisces, but giving you that clarity. A lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of anxiety over getting this sorted out and taken care of and again legally and morally and that in itself is a very long slow process to be done but ultimately with this you're not giving up you're not quitting you're not quitting on the situation that you have or that you're wanting to have because of someone from the past ace of wands focus area Five of Wands, Five of Cups, Knight of Cups. There is this offer of love, um, and I feel like it is, usually I say you might be offering that to someone, but I feel like this is coming in towards you here. Loving energy around you while you're going through some drama, some conflict, some emotional sadness, loss or grief here, but knowing there's loving energy around you, and this cup of love is coming in, and it may be that it is from somebody significant, 
that is still sticking by your side what I'm gonna say while some shit from the past is taken care of holy moly recent past seven of cups reversed you get the ten of cups ten of swords ten of wands wow and it's been a shit past I'm sorry if this is resonating for you a painful cycle feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and because of all of that you've been trying to cut free from that there have been some missed opportunities in the past but there's always a but there's also the ten of cups which is a lot of emotional support around you in order to start to get things back on track and I feel like that is what you've identified with that's what you've taken on board and that is what's closing these chapters off around that painful energy around that burden not a bad thing um, overall incoming energies and with this king of swords upright ready to take action nine of wands king of pentacles princess of wands willing to share your ideas here and i still feel it's with this somebody significant existing or brand new but ultimately problem shared problem halved you then see the obstacles you have overcome the bullets you've had to dodge the hoops you've had to jump through to get onto solid ground and yes maybe a bit battle scarred a bit battle weary um, it may have put your guard up a bit of anticipation of what what to expect next but ultimately now nothing's holding you back and once you realize that that success lands on your doorstep so Sagittarius what you need to know two of wands eight of Pentacles the tower ten of Pentacles ultimately around this is your tower moment don't shut the world and everyone out here there is success with this tower moment and it is being able to put it all out there into the universe what's not needed can stay out there and let the dust settle build that solid foundation but build that solid foundation um, together because I do feel there is a together here but also that it is very solid here to get that successful outcome and look at you no wonder you have that victory how others see you you're able to actually step up and shine show you've made it six of wands three of wands four of cups the sun brilliance while you are very stubborn very focused on one particular cup here i do feel like and that cup may be on a victory of getting things moving forward but know there's other options around you to look at as well open your eyes always sound like i'm lecturing but see the bigger picture see these other options it doesn't mean you have to take them but they are worth looking at because sometimes these other options can offer you the world can offer you the sun the happiness the joy everything that starts falling into place hope that's for all of you ace of swords reversed hopes and fears ace of cups death eight of swords and that's it sometimes finding those other ways around things legally and morally but being able to close that chapter off from the past put the whole book back on the shelf and select a whole different book which i feel like a lot of you have done with this because this is involving a past with an ex that is now you're ready to move forward with somebody else existing again existing or brand new but um, finding those other ways and getting this new chapter on the move i have a connection to scorpio and final outcome four of cups eight of cups there you go ace of swords you just come off that reversed and five of pentacles definitely it is clearing the crap out from the past and having a fresh new start a new focus here new focus we said shifting that focus around to see what some of the other cups offer and identifying there the emotional detachment you're able to walk away from whether it's something someone somewhere because that has put you in a feeling of being left out in the cold ghosted blocked no explanation at all it's been what's caused the whole hold up here but now identifying that 
that detachment is able to happen, you're moving forward to warmer energy, can't get much warmer than that sun there, and this is about a fresh new start with your somebody significant, whether you know it yet at this stage or not. Wow, so Sagittarius, finishing with what the universe says. The star upright, nine of cups upright, six of swords reversed. Still feeling a bit stagnant while you do focus on your dreams, your wishes, your hopes, what you want, who you want, where you want to be, what your heart desires. Um, emotional happiness that is there at your fingertips. But again, until business is taken care of here, it feels like you're not putting some solid plans into place just yet to get things moving forward. So there is this hold up that does need to be dealt with legally and morally. So lecture over Sagittarius, sorry about all that, but that's how they came out. It is, um, I do hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Many blessings to all of you and I'll see you all next for the weeklies. See ya. Bye.